Hello, this is another update on the CNC milling machine project. As you can see, I've changed out from those little, sur or, uh, little stepper motors to these nice big servos, or at least relatively huge for a Sherline machine. These things are meant for a much larger machine, but I got them cheap uh, on good opportunities, so I'm going to use them. They are the Electrocraft E240s. Uh, part number 240-026-0888. If anyone knows anything about these, please send me some info. Because pretty much all I can find is another YouTuber with a video of these mo of one of these motors under control with a homebrew driver. They're, and they're quite impressive. Anyway, uh, those are strapped on with uh, custom machine uh, plates and they're quite zippy. Machined up the couplers myself as well, and rubber in between an aluminum block basically that's on the end of the lead screw and on the other side is this funky U shape. And then in between is a layer of rubber. Seems to make a nice quiet coupler for the most part. I don't have them completely centered yet to be knock. But, they work. I don't have a completed driver yet because of software issues, but I can move them back and forth on just direct DC power. Not sure what voltage this is really, I'm guessing about 15. Uh, they'll take much higher than this. But this is about the rate that I'm thinking for rapid. It's any quicker and I might shred the screws apart on this. This isn't a ball screw machine, it's just steel weight screw and brass nut. So I'll probably be ordering a spare set of lead screws once I get things in motion, because I know I'm going to need them. Uh, the Z axis is not, not complete yet. That's a little more complicated. I plan on strapping the last servo basically behind the axis and connecting up connecting it up via gears because this head's very heavy and it takes quite a lot of torque to move it. Really those motors shouldn't have a problem direct drive. It just feels like it should be done. Uh, aside from that, I still have a lot of work to do. Um, drivers to do, like I said. I have to do another main control board completely over again. And of course the next step is I get to drill these out uh, so I can put them on the ends of the motor shafts and actually be able to move the machine manual again. Uh, of course, uh, up until very recently, you can tell I've been using this to make its own parts, which is kind of neat. Anyway, I think that's all for now. I'll probably make another update once these things are actually computer controlled.